Hello, my name is Thomas Ward. I'm the Dean of the College of Public and International Affairs at the University of Bridgeport. Uh, we are committed to preparing young men and women for careers in the area of public service. Already graduates of our programs work uh, at the United Nations, they work at the Council of Europe, they work in foreign ministries, uh, they work in ministries of trade, ministries of justice, in a variety of parts of the world. Likewise, they work here in the United States in places such as the Federal Bureau of Investigation and also the uh, United States Passport Agency, uh, among other venues. I was recently asked uh, to speak a little bit about one of our master's degrees, which is less well known, uh, which is also one of the most recent of our academic initiatives. It is the Master of Arts in East Asian and Pacific Rim Studies. We're located uh, here in the state of Connecticut. Some might ask the question, why launch a program of that type here in Connecticut? Well, even in the case of Connecticut, there's a variety of reasons which would justify that. Over the past decade, for example, the trade between the state of Connecticut and the People's Republic of China has increased 1,000 percent. That reflects the changing dynamic of the United States as a whole, and this degree invites those who study in the program to reflect upon the kind of preparation that is needed in order to prepare for the changing circumstances of today's world. Let me try to put things in a bit of a perspective for you. In 1960, the United States did twice as much trade with Western Europe as it did with East Asia. By 1980, we were doing twice as much trade with East Asia as we were doing with Western Europe. But probably most significant of all is that by the early 1990s, the center of world trade actually did not specifically include the United States. The main center of world trade was among the Asian nations of the Pacific Rim. Think about it. Think about the implications of that type of an economic shift and of the ways in which that economic shift will impact upon you, upon your career, and upon the direction of the future world. Let's look at this in the context of history, if you will. Following World War II, Japan found itself in shambles. However, fortunately, within the Japanese leadership, there was a core group of individuals that had a very strong sense of what Japan needed to do to remain a viable power in the world and actually to uh, somehow resurrect from the circumstances of World War II. The reason is because that core leadership had an understanding of where North was. North was not at that time Korea or China or the Philippines. North was the United States. And therefore, there was a shift in the paradigm of Japanese education. Japanese students began to study not just English, but to study American English. The Japanese began to uh, make themselves more aware of the American social system. They likewise came to understand under which circumstances they could achieve a most favored nation status, for example, and how it was that they could build a healthy trade relationship with the United States. Based upon and most of all, they also understood the American consumer, the Americans' expectations. And over a period of three to four decades, we find that Japan emerged as a major world power. Today, as we find ourselves moving towards the middle part of the second decade of the third millennium, once again, um, there is a paradigm shift, and that paradigm shift takes us away from the United States as the center of world trade and takes us towards East Asia. 
What are the implications of all that for us? Well, it means that in our schools, although languages such as French and Spanish are very important, for the future, if one wants to be successful, one needs to begin to learn languages such as Chinese, Japanese, Korean. One needs to understand the cultural underpinnings of those societies. One needs to understand the consumer of those societies. One needs to understand the political economy of those societies. And that requires a very special type of education and preparation. The Master of Arts in East Asian and Pacific Rim Studies is specifically designed to prepare you for the changing scenario of today's world and to make it possible for you to really play a major role in the world as it goes through this process of transformation. The degree consists of 12 courses. It can be completed over a period of, of two years. It requires some knowledge of an Asian language, the equivalent of two years of university study of an Asian language. And for those of you who are from the United States, you're also required to spend two months, it's a great opportunity, uh, in an East Asian country where you can be able to uh, intern there and likewise through that process familiarize yourself with the entire uh, situation of Asia and become a person who can both from the viewpoint of language and from the viewpoint of culture meet the demands and expectations that your employers and likewise the consumers from East Asia that you're going to be interfacing with are going to anticipate and are going to be needing. This is a very exciting program. I would like to really encourage you to look into this program. Uh, you can see here there is a URL. This URL will connect you to the website, make you possible to know a little bit more about the program, the kinds of faculty that we have teaching in the program, and the many opportunities that are available to you. I hope that you'll take the time to visit the University of Bridgeport, to contact us by email or by phone, and to find out more about this exciting and really timely program which can prepare you so that you can make a difference in this changing world that we're all a part of. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this brief explanation of our program. I would very much look forward to having a chance to meet you personally if you're able to contact us here at the University of Bridgeport. Have a great day.